Good morning! It is the last week of February and the last week of February vlogging. The month actually went kind of fast. It's one of those short months. But we are up and going this morning. It is Zumba morning and we are going to get our breakfast. It's just a little bit past 7 o'clock. Um, we generally get up around 7 regardless of the day. And so we're going to get breakfast and then head to Zumba in a little bit. And what else? Oh, it's going to be a fun day because Daddy and I have date night tonight. And Luna's sitting down here at my feet staring at me. That's why I keep looking down. Um, we have date night tonight. So I don't think that we're going to go anywhere like particularly super romantic or date night. I don't have a very romantic husband. But anyways, um, I think we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings. But you know what? I'm excited about that because I love hot wings. I'm a hot wings person. So I think that's kind of what we talked about. I think that's where we're going to go. So um, girls are going to hang out at their play place and uh, we are going to go to date night. So I'm excited about so that. So for dinner tonight, they're going to have like their own meal here at the house that I'll feed them before we go um, take them to their place. And then um, we'll eat out a Buffalo Wild Wings. So that's what's going on today. Hi, Luna. Do you want to say hello? Oh, say hi. Say I love my wet cat food. It's working out wonderful. Oh, she's such a good kitty. Yes, you are. He's a good kitty. Oh, you're talking. Luna never meows. She's like, give me cat food, lady. Hi there. I love Natalie's morning here. It's so full of curly and puppy. Yeah, Luna's hanging out down there. She wants to uh, see what you guys are doing. Are you excited about being able to go to school tonight? They're having a special school day because there were so many days off in January, like because of the weather and it's being super cold. So they're having a special school night. Um, so that way the parents can have like a special date night, which Mama, I thought was very, very sweet. So I'm super you're excited. We're gonna go to the date night. <laughs> We're gonna go to a date night. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Daddy yeah. and I are gonna go on a date. How exciting! I think date night. Yeah. <clears throat> having my standard coffee and egg for the morning. They're having oatmeal and cereal and milk. And we'll see what else they ask for. <laughs> I just did a quick wipe down on the fridge and I didn't uh, do like the full spray thing that I showed before. I sometimes had to clean out this ice thing because we have well water here and like there's some sort of like sediment that builds up when the ice drops on here sometimes. So I just have to clean this out with one of the regular Clorox wipes but then just from like the residue that will go down underneath it I just use the stainless steel wipe to like real quickly clean underneath it and it's just kind of like a spot cleaning thing that I do to kind of spruce up that area before I do like the whole fridge. So these are the Wyman stainless steel wipes. And so I don't use these for everything, but for like little spot cleaning things like this, these do work well for that. So I'm buttoning up our gym bag to get ready to go here. I'm actually remembering my dance shoes this week because I forgot them last week. I've got a bag for my stuff, a bag for diapers and stuff, my water bottle, and then theirs on the sides. And so this should be about ready to go. And the other thing I was going to mention, if you guys watched our Mommy, Jembering Mommy, haul, Mommy, um, I actually Mommy, kind of had a change Mommy. of heart this weekend. Hello, come show me what you're wearing. Say I'm, hello. I'm, you're matching today. <laughs> you want a drink? Yeah. Come here, come get a drink. I actually had a change of heart this weekend, and I ended up taking back the stuff that was like that bright pink color, like the neon pink <laughs> color. Here you go, Natalie. <laughs> and I exchanged it. I still got stuff from the anchor line, but I ended up getting some things that I thought would be a little bit more neutral. And the jacket, I was just in the end really, really not happy with it. It was so thin and not lined and just didn't really seem that good quality. So I just thought that it was going to rip like the first time she ever wore it out on the playground. I figured she'd come home and the thing would be in pieces. So I ended up taking them back the jacket. I took back the anchor skirt. That was really the only thing I was kind of on the fence about because she liked it, but it was so bright that I didn't think it was going to go with much in her closet. And then I took back the crab shirt because um, I was kind of on the fence about that. And she was kind of like, oh, yeah, that's cute. She didn't really seem that into it. So let me show you real quick what I ended up exchanging that stuff for. And in the end, yes, I did actually end up losing money in a sense because I used my gym bucks, um, you know, with that order and... There's just really no way to recoup that, but I wanted to get stuff that she was actually going to use. 
So I ended up getting these anchor jeans in a size 4. And these were really cute. She liked these whenever we went in the store and looked at the stuff. And I think that these are something that would go with a lot of stuff as a great like basic in the spring. I also got it, this little umbrella because she loved it when we went into the store. And we actually went into the store after I'd already ordered and before it had arrived, if that makes sense. Um, and she loved this umbrella. So I got her her own umbrella to use. And then I just got a couple of fill-in items, just some Valentine um, underwear in the next size up and some socks in the next size up. Because she's getting ready to go out of the three, four stuff. And I think go into like a five for that kind of stuff, just to give her a little bit of extra room. But anyhow, so net effect is yes I traded in basically a jacket and a full outfit a shirt and pants for just or shirt and skirt for just like a pair of jeans and umbrella and a couple accessories the thing is is that I really th that jacket was just complete junk I honestly think that I can get something at Target um, a lot better quality so I don't know what's going on with Jimbury. I really have not liked anything that they've put out lately. You know, I like a lot of the older lines. Like, right, today they're wearing the Cozy Cutie line. This from, like, two years ago. Um, Fashionable Fairy is one of my favorite lines. Um, just, I like, like, those girly, cutesy lines. And a lot of the stuff that they're coming out right now is, like, older themes that they're trying to be girly with, if that makes sense. And it's just not working for me. So I see us getting some Gap and Gap Outlet stuff this spring. Um, we always get a lot of fill-in stuff at Target, and I think that's pretty much what our wardrobe's going to go to um, for the spring. So anyways, I wanted to show you real quick what I took in and exchanged and what I got instead. Alright, so I am headed into Zumba and they're going to go to play class. She seemed super enthused about <laughs> We're done with Zumba and the kids got to go play and climb and get some of that out of their system. And at Zumba I picked out some, or I picked up some Girl Style cookies I ordered. <laughs> Pinmans and Samoas. Well, you guys can have one and snack today, and then we're sending those to work with Daddy <laughs> to get them out of the house. I'm going to attempt to not eat any of them. However, Samoas are a particular weakness of mine, so let's see if we can get them out of the house fast enough. So anyhow, we are going to go home and play and hang out. Uh, do the usual lunch and nap and all that and tonight's going to be date night so actually I need to send my text a text message to my husband and remind him so that he doesn't forget so I'm going to do that and then we're going to head home okay we are back home and the girls are going to have a little snack and then we'll play for a little bit and then it'll be time for lunch but they were both saying that they were starving so we just have a little snack real quick and then they should be good to go until lunchtime. All right, apparently Luna thinks that this is for her, but I asked Bella if she wanted ants on a log, which is just the peanut butter with the raisins on celery, and she got very excited, so I'm going to go ahead and make that for her real quick. And you want something to you? There you go, a Bella favorite. <laughs> All right, well, we were sitting here, and they were starting to get famished, so we just decided to segue straight to lunch. <laughs> so we're going to start having lunch, too. And I showed these in the grocery haul, but we're having these for lunch. I'm having my regular salad. I'm going to cut up some apple for the girls. But these popped ranch ones, we love these. So I've got some with mine, and the girls are having them too, and they absolutely love these. So this bag is going to be gone quick. Are they all gone? Did you eat them all? We've got another package in the fridge. You've got some on your plate. Can you eat some on your plate? No, I'm on my plate. She's very upset that this package is empty. We have more in the refrigerator, Natalie, but you have some on your plate you need to eat. Okay. All right, what's become an after lunch tradition? The cats are having their food and enjoying it. So far, we've learned about the cats that they like fish flavored varieties better than chicken <laughs> and beef. I got my pixie dust. Back. You got your pixie dust? All right, let's go over here and let them eat. Scoot over here, Isabella. Baby Elmo stands up tall. Baby Elmo holds on tight. Are you just hanging out over there, Isabella? Yeah. You got your pixie dust? Yes. Ace. You got ace. You got ace. <laughs> Come here, you want mommy to write a word for you? Yeah. C A T. C A E T. Cat. Cat. Let me see. Let you see. Natalie's definitely more hands on with this than Bella was. <laughs> she goes ahead and erases everything for me. I'm an, I'm an A. You want another A? Yeah. 
What's a word that starts with A? You fix. You want me to fix? A. A. R. T. T. Good. Art. Art. Hello. What's that say? Kind of. It's kind of hard to read. A R T. Art. About this big long word. It starts with A. Alphabet. Alpha A. Alpha A. Alphabet. A L P H A B E T. Alphabet. <laughs> so we're going to read Seal's Silly Sandwich, even though it's you week, but <laughs> I'm getting ready to change over the board. I have scrambled eggs in a sandwich, said Skunk. That's silly. Said seal. <laughs> said seal. No uh, thanks, said snail, uh, sloth, Sophia. snake, salamander, skunk, spider, and squirrel. That's it. Yeah, says Sophia. Sophia's new stepsister, oh, Amber, that. explains the royal prep tea parties are really big events. They have merry-go-rounds. There are two Princess Sophia. See, Sophia is pleased to learn that even the princesses can enjoy simple things. She giggles and raises her own teacup. Hooray for me. The end. This is a really cute book. Did you like that one? Sophia, here, here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very cute. Sophia, All right. here, here. Here, here. Here, here, here Sophia. I think mommy's going to be on reading break for a minute. We read a bunch of books back to back here. All right, so we've got a little bit of play time, and then it's going to be rest time here in a little bit. They're pretty much just rolling around on the floor. And I had to change this over to cold because it's back to like 20 degrees today. So we're no longer chilly. It's just back to cold. But it is sunny, so hooray for that. And I just changed over the board. It is U week and also under the sea week. So I'm going to get some under the sea fish and put them around in this area. And we'll have our standard U words over there and that sort of thing. And if all goes well, everyone stays well, the weather's okay and all that sort of thing, the plan is, is for this weekend to go to the aquarium. So it works out perfectly for you week, under the sea week, and we should hopefully be able to go see some under the sea animals this weekend. And then next week is Dr. Seuss week. Hooray, one of mommy's favorite weeks. So we get to do Seussical activities and read Seuss books. It's gonna be a fun week next week too. So right, it is about 1.15 and the kids are taking their rest and I hopped in the shower and took a quick shower real quick. And I'm gonna have to do my hair and makeup and all that for date night a little bit later, but I'm gonna try to do some editing real quick and I've gotta start a load of laundry for myself. And I wanna start thinking about what I'm gonna to wear tonight. I, like normally for date nights, like in the spring and summer, I like wearing like dresses with a cardigan over it. Or something like that but for the winter especially when it's been like a really long winter like this and it's just like super cold and bleh, I pretty much just go with jeans and like standard outfits like jeans and boots and I might try to dig out a cute top I don't know yet so I need to dig around actually my dragonfly top I have like a really cute blue dragonfly top I may wear that because I like wearing that for date nights so I may pull that out of the closet with like a gray cardigan or something like that so that may be what I do. Um, I really like wearing dresses and things like that, but it's just finding an occasion where it works, which usually date night it works, but then I don't wear dresses when it's cold. This period, I don't. <laughs> so I'm ready for it to be spring already. So I'm gonna go do some editing and start some laundry, and then at some point I've got to just at least get the base layer <laughs> my makeup on. If you guys watch makeup channels or my makeup channel or just into makeup in general, you know what I mean. Like you just got to get the basic face done and then I can add to it later. <laughs> and I'm having my little afternoon treat. I got this out of the freezer so it's going to have to unfreeze but this is a champagne macaron. I've got my drink and my tea and my water I'm going to take over with me when I'm editing and I know this is crazy. But I've been tracking my calories in my fitness pal, and so far I've been doing pretty good, by the way, under calorie goal for every single day that I've done it for like two or two and a half weeks. But on a side note, I've noticed that it's a trend, and I have statistical data that backs this up. On days where I have one macaron, 
my calorie intake overall for the day is lower than the rest of the days. <laughs> so apparently, if you have that one little satisfying thing, I'm just trying to justify macarons here, honestly, but they are delicious. So champagne macarons, definitely going on my list of celebration treats for any sort of celebration in the future, for sure. <laughs> And as a total side note, I showed this in my grocery haul from yesterday, um, and I I bought I purchased this magazine because of the macarons on the front, of course. One of my friends posted this on my Facebook page, and then I ended up seeing it at the grocery store, so I had to grab it. But actually, upon looking through the magazine, I really like it. I enjoy this. It has just a wide variety of things from everything from recipes to decor to uh, home organization to just honestly a little bit of everything. And I've been using the Martha Stewart line at Staples, like her agenda planner. That's what I've been using for preschool at home for like the past year or so. So... I think I'm actually going to order a subscription. It's not that expensive. It's only like $10. And I've been looking for a few other good magazines to get subscriptions to. I take out Traditional Home, Elle Decor. Um, I used to have InStyle, and I think I need to renew that one again. I'm trying to think what else I get. Lucky. I love Lucky because I use the reward system. But anyways, so I think I'm going to subscribe to this because it seems like a neat little magazine. So just throwing it out there. All right, so I'm waiting for today's vlog to upload. I got this all uploading and done. I've got some potter going on in the background. <laughs> That's why what I have usually going on in the background of editing. Except for lately, I've enjoyed Doctor Who on demand um, at night. But anyhow, this is what I do generally during this time. So I'm going to finish this and I'm going to go put my makeup on. And the kiddos will hopefully be awake soon because it's about 2.30. So... They should probably wake up around three-ish. Oh my goodness, I don't want to go out to eat anymore. I've been sitting here trying to look up nutrition information for uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, which is impossible, by the way. So they don't have anything on their website. So I went to Red Robin's website, which is the other place that my husband mentioned he might want to go. And their nutrition thing is like absolutely ridiculous to try to navigate. Look at this. Like I just want to go to a list people and find the lowest calorie options. I don't want to have to sit here and, oh man. I don't want to have to sit here and go, I just want to see a list and like find the lowest calorie options on your list. Uh, this is a pain. So I'm sitting here doing my makeup. I need to get some more of my foundation that I like using because I'm about out of that. And I've got some super cuteness going on back here behind me. Natalie's cranky. I tried to take their picture and she's like, no, I don't want my picture taken, but they're sitting in my purse room. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some makeup real quick. Oh, I hope I don't find you. I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and then we're gonna go downstairs for snack. All right, the kids are going to have a quick snack, and then we'll probably go play for a little bit and start getting everyone ready for tonight. And I've got my makeup done, i got my pretty face on, and I just need to do my hair still and do something with that. Um, I usually flat iron it like every single day. And so I need to do that real quick, and then pick out my clothes. And we're doing good on time. I mean, it's just now like 3.30, so... Um, Daddy should be home around 5.15, 5.30-ish, and then we'll head out and go take the kids to their class, and we will go out and eat date night. Um, gosh, I sat, I think I took some film, we'll see if I leave it in during editing or not, and tried to look up like calories at different places that we talked about going. And, you know, we don't get to go out on date nights very often, so I'm not going to make a huge deal out of it, try not to, but it's a good thing today was a Zumba day because in my fitness pal, it gives you like a deficit if you exercise or whatnot, which I don't really look at it that way. I kind of look at it as whatever calories you ate for the day you ate for the day. So normally I would just still try to typically hit my own personal calorie goal, which is a little bit less than what my fitness pal says I should be eating. Um, but my fitness pal says that because I worked out today, I still have over 1200 calories that I can eat today, which I'm not planning on using all those, but it's a good thing that they're available because looking at the menus, it's crazy. Um, and that just goes to show how long it's been since like we've like eaten out, honestly, like that much. But anyhow, Wild Wings, which we'll see if my husband still wants to go there. You know, I mean, they're fried wings. What are you going to do? But I really like 
chicken wings so i'm thinking if we go there it's probably what i'll get and then just try to have like four of them <laughs> and then hopefully that'll work so we'll see we'll see what ends up happening but anyhow um I have a major headache right now that just came on after Natalie woke up because she was a little <laughs> cranky. So I probably should eat something, but now I'm like, I don't want to eat anything because I need all my calories for tonight. So anyhow, on a side note, I think I'm going to do separate vlogs and I may start these in March just because we're doing so many day in the lives and extra vlogs and all that kind of stuff this week. I will talk about like what I'm starting to do with the weight loss stuff. And actually, just during nap time today, I came across uh, Carla, the Bubble Lush's website, and, or not her website, but her YouTube channel. And I've heard of her before, because actually she was one of the uh, people that did the Pond's YouTube challenge thing. So I heard of her doing that, but I just, you know, you get busy and I never sought out her channel and all that sort of thing. So I made a point of coming across her channel during nap time today because I we become friends like on Facebook. This is totally getting into a ramble, but anyways, so um, I sought out her channel and she's actually doing a weight loss thing right now. So that kind of inspired me, like, okay, well maybe I should share what I'm starting to do as of like a week or two ago. I'd have to go back on my fitness pal because I've been doing that since the day I started to see how long it's been going on. Uh, maybe I should share it somehow. I don't know. So she has inspired me in that way. So thank you, Carla. Not that I think that you're watching, but anyways, uh, I will tell you thank you on one of your videos. And um, I don't know. I have a headache, so this is getting a little bit rambly. Anyhow, we're going to do our snack and then have a little bit of playtime so that we can get ready to go to date night in a little bit. We're having a little post-nap snuggle time. Natalie had a tough wake up today. She's also got a crayon, which I don't normally condone on the furniture, but she had a rough wake up today, so Natalie is grown. All right, I think Natalie's feeling better. She's starting to wiggle around. <laughs> so I'm gonna let him finish washing Sheriff of Callie, and then we're gonna do some stuff. You gonna do some stuff? <laughs> then get ready to go here later on in a little bit. We still have a couple hours, but still. <laughs> Dance party, mommy's gonna work off some calories here. <laughs> We've got two little dancers here. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing a little bit of coloring and okay. some more snacking. Bella's having a little tangerine clementine cutie. And Natalie's breaking crowns apparently. And we're going to do this for a little bit. I want... You want more crayons? Yeah. And we're not going to try to do any crafts or anything today since they have a special thing tonight. They'll probably do some crafts yeah, at school. Okay. Here you go. They usually have a lot of special activities planned for them yeah. at school, so that's nice. Yeah. yeah. And tomorrow we'll try to do some D.O.T. paint. I'm going to see it because I'm going to have to get it out. Yes, well, that's the thing with having a child that can read and apparently spell. She knew what I spelled, and then she said, I want to do it. So we're doing dot paint, and now Natalie wants it too. So I'm going to go print out some more sheets for her. <laughs> so we're doing dot paint, and then the garage door just went up too, so my husband's home. So I need to get my hair done and my clothes on. So Daddy's home, so the girls are going to get a... Bella ran and grabbed the Girl Scout cookies when Daddy got here. <laughs> so apparently, she took to heart that we weren't gonna have any cookies until Daddy was home. <laughs> Are you excited? You a cookie? Yeah. <laughs> Are they delicious? What do you think, Bella? Do you like those ones? They're called Samoas. Um, uh, more, more. <laughs> more, more. You just took a little tiny bite. You have to eat the whole cookie. Mama. <laughs> All right, so super quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing my, or going to be wearing my porn boots, which I really, really like. Uh, the shirt is Shoss, and I got that at uh, Nordstrom's. There's a baby running around behind me. The cardigans from J. Crew. Um, the necklace is the one that my husband got me for Christmas. Um, I'm wearing two of my Tiffany bracelets that I normally wear. And then I've been wearing these earrings lately, which are just little heart earrings from Tiffany. 
And that is the outfit of the day with baby you running around your feet. So I'm going to, or I guess I should say outfit of the night. And I'm wearing dark uh, wash jeans from uh, DKNY, which I've been liking. And I like the shirt because I feel like it's a little bit forgiving. So anyhow, there's another one. <laughs> We're going to get these two ready to go and head out to take them to school. I'm ordering dessert. <laughs> So that was it for our date night vlog. We didn't really film anything on the date night, but we had fun. We went out to eat and then we swung past the grocery store on the way home and uh, picked up yogurt. Hooray! Right? So all those practical things to do on date night. And the kids had a great, great time being able to go to school at night, so it was a fun night. So we'll be back tomorrow with more date and life vlogging and we will see you again tomorrow. So thanks for watching and bye.